Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing, and if you are back, welcome back. Today, I'm here with a special midweek sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. So thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. You guys, Diamond Art Club is not letting us get to Christmas quite yet without another special uh, release. So they're releasing a couple of mystery kits this week on Wednesday, and I have one of those to share with you all today. Now, it goes without saying that there is going to be a certain degree of spoilers happening in this sneak peek unboxing. So if you are one that wants to know absolutely nothing about a mystery kit, please turn back <laughs> because you're going to see the canvas, you're going to see the colors. And um, while I'm not gonna be like spoiling the actual image for you, it's possible, especially if you are feeling really sleuthy, that you'll be able to figure out what this image is. So um, just to let you know though, this kit is going to release tomorrow, which is Wednesday, December 21st at 9 a.m. Pacific time, which is noon Eastern time. And I believe that it's just gonna be one release time for everyone. Um, for these midweek releases, they do not typically do an early release for Diamond and Ruby Tier Rewards members. But anyway, that being said, um, we're gonna have things spoiled here in stages a bit. The first is I'm gonna show you the title and the artist and the theme. So. Like I said, turn back if you want to know absolutely nothing, but here we go. So this kit is by Olga from Artbeat Studio. The theme is animals. It's going to have square shaped diamonds, which all mystery kits from Diamond Art Club have, at least for now. And uh, this is going to be 91 by 65 centimeters. And um, this is going to be mystery kit number 25. So um, people have noticed, especially there's like a, a dedicated uh, Facebook group for mystery kit enthusiasts. Um, and I've noticed that like, okay, that number that's at the end of that, like DPC number, the SKU, um, seems to denote like the number of the, you know, the number of mystery kit. This can be, so this can be mystery, mystery kit number 25. Anyway, everything else about the kit though is still going to have all of the usual suspects as far as Diamond Art Club's quality goes. We got the blue branding here for square drills, some info on the back about how to diamond paint and uh, some kit contents info here. And then a QR code here on the side that'll uh, take you to a discount code for 10% off your purchase. If you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and want to save 20% off your very first purchase, you can use my affiliate discount code if you like. It's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Uh, but like I said, that's an affiliate code. So I may make a small commission should you choose to use it. So don't feel obligated whatsoever, you guys. Um, there's going to be several discount codes that you see just in this unboxing, I just recommend taking advantage of some sort of discount code. So <laughs> let's go ahead and pull out the kit contents. Don't worry, we're not seeing any specifics just yet, but where's that little logbook sticker? Is it tucked in here? There it is. Okay. So with their mystery kits, Diamond Art Club does include this little insert that has some, um, some reminders about mystery kits. So uh, seeing a blank mystery canvas come to life is a fun and unique experience. Um, they're always limited edition. So once this sells out, it will not be restocked. Um, and also we really want to try to just be kind and respectful and aware of others that even if you are the kind of person that loves having the image spoiled for you ahead of time, there are lots of people that don't. So please don't post spoilers in the VIP Facebook group. Um, they say, of course, you can post on your personal social media. I recommend posting, like if you have an Instagram account, like to dedicated to diamond painting or something like that, put a couple of like spoiler slides first. Uh, so that way people aren't surprised by spoilers. It's just, it's a nice thing to do. Um, but you do you. <laughs> they have included a small logbook sticker that has all the info about the kit. I like to use this in my logbook. I, I put it in there once I start working on a kit. Some people put it on the side of the box to help organize their stash a little bit more, or you can find something crafty to do with it. And then the toolkit is going to be the same as the other toolkits that come with these Diamond Art Club kits. I'm just going to show you really briefly here. Uh, like I said, just in case you're new. Uh, so we do have a pen and squishy. The colors on those are going to vary. Since this drill has square, or since this kit has square shaped diamonds, you're gonna get a pair of tweezers. They're very pointy, so do keep that cover on there. You're gonna get some wax. I actually really like Diamond Art Club's pink wax. There's a thin plastic cover on there. Be sure you take that off before you try to load up your pen. You're also gonna get some thin plastic multi-placer so you can try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. And then some plastic baggies if you wanna store your leftover diamonds or kit up into those, you can do that. You're also gonna get a tray and it may be this clear plastic 
version with gold sparkles. Um, this is a tray stopper, by the way, not a random piece of plastic. It might be this kind, or they are starting to transition over to some solid white trays. So it might be one or the other. Um, we're also going to have these two bits, which are kind of wild cards as far as what style you're going to get. This here is what we call a cover minder. There's magnets on the back, and um, you're going to slide this one under the area of the canvas you're working on. Put the canvas back down, peel back the plastic cover, and then you can set this top part on top of the plastic cover, and it holds back that cover for you. This is a roll of washi tape. I like to use this around the edge of my canvas, rather around the edge of the drill field to cover up any glue that goes past the edge of the drill field. Do be careful with uh, the washi tape that has kind of the gold foil effect because I have seen some people mention some transfer. If they put the washi tape down and then go to like peel it off to frame it. Um, so I would maybe test it in a small area but before you put it over your entire canvas. Anyway, that's your whole toolkit. Now we're gonna go ahead and start getting into the rest of this canvas. So fair warning again, we're gonna start seeing some spoilers. So um, if you have gotten to this point and you've changed your mind and you're like, I don't wanna see anything else, um, we're gonna start looking at the canvas here. So please be aware <laughs> that you're gonna start to see some spoilers here. So um, last chance to look away. It looks like this is gonna be the black and white canvas. What we're gonna be seeing is all black and white symbols. And um, I did see that on some of their newer mystery kits that they have altered the drill field slightly and varied the background colors to like some various shades of pastel um, in an effort to kind of disguise the image even more because if you're looking at the canvas through the camera right now, you're probably going, okay, I can already make out shapes and patterns in the black and white symbols. Uh, so this is kind of like from that original style of printing on the mystery canvases. Um, <clears throat> But be aware that some of these newer mystery canvases that come out, not including this one, um, the drill field might look slightly different. Um, so what I'm actually going to do, though, <laughs> is the way that uh, we sneak peek, at least I like to sneak peek these um, mystery kits, is rather than actually revealing the whole canvas to you where I think it's going to be really easy to make out with the images, I'm going to bring you down. We're going to zoom in and you're just going to see kind of elements of it at a time. So give me just a sec here. So here we go. Where's the fun if I don't make you sleuths work for it, right? <laughs> uh, so you'll see parts of the canvas as we go here, just kind of unrolling it bit by bit. Glad I'm doing it this way because I definitely am looking at this going, yeah, I feel like I can, I can see what parts of this image are. Fun, 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 fun. So okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the drill colors briefly and a little bit more of what was included in this canvas. So here are the drill colors. Don't really know how much that's gonna tell you actually that's a nice variety of drill colors there and then always included in your kit is going to be a pamphlet with some other helpful info in it so there's a thank you note from the founder on the front then there's some info on the inside about what's included in your kit and then um, this will take you to a beginner video this is some info about the VIP Facebook group, which I do recommend joining once you've made your first purchase. It's a really nice resource and a, a helpful spot to um, get behind the scenes and early info and stuff like that. Here's some written out step-by-step -step instructions for you if you're new, and then some tips and tricks as well as yet another discount code, and then some info about the mobile app. Um, if you haven't downloaded the mobile app, it's worth taking a look. It's nice because you can um, set up push notifications for restocks and sales and stuff like that. It's really handy, um, and you also get 20% off your first purchase through the app. So super handy now here we've got a larger sticker sheet mystery kit again the theme is animals by olga slash artbeat studio a spot to write your start and end date here's that question mark i will tell you that the colors that you're seeing by the way are significant diamond shape is square of course like all their mystery kits Size 35.8 by 25.6 inches or 91.60 by 65 centimeters. Mystery kit number 25. And we have a set of pre-cut stickers over here. So we're gonna have a total of 62 colors in this kit. And you can see that all of the symbols are, of course, in black and white. There's a lot of alphanumeric. Um, I have completed a couple of different mystery kits, and I'll just really briefly share a couple of tips with you guys. Um, because it's a, quite an adjustment, I feel, to go from working with symbols that have colors involved, like being able to pick out symbols just based on like, okay, this one has like a blue background, or this one has like a red symbol or something like that. Um, 
it is an adjustment and I recommend organizing your diamonds by kind of like style of symbol putting all the numbers together putting all the letters together I put like all of the ones that have like slashes together all the ones that have like dots like two and three dots together because that makes finding the symbols especially when you've got 62 colors in this case finding those different symbols a lot easier you don't have to do as much hunting and that just, I find, works a lot better for my brain. There's a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to working on a mystery kit, just because you do have to kind of train your brain to work with it just a little bit differently. Um, and uh, reading black and white symbols, which at least you can see, you guys, the printing is really clear, which is really nice. Taking you on a little tour. Seeing just some little bits and pieces of the canvas here. <laughs> uh, but I find working on a mystery canvas to be incredibly rewarding. Seeing the colors come to life on a black and white canvas is really, really neat. I have a couple of post reviews of mystery canvases that I have completed. I will link to those in the description box below in case you're curious. You'll hear me talk about sort of the challenges and the really fun things about working on a mystery canvas, but please be forewarned that there are spoilers galore there. Um, just take you on a tour of the canvas as well. We have the branding at the top, Do What Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. Uh, just like all of their canvases, you guys, these, um, these canvases are gonna be this really lovely, soft and thick material. Like the backing is really, really soft. Um, and the material itself is that like really nice, sturdy and malleable material. And of course they still use their signature poured glue that has a little bit of a sparkle to it. <laughs> Between uh, the nice thickness and quality of the poured glue and um, the material of the canvas, it does make diamond painting on a diamond art club canvas. I feel like really relaxing and enjoyable. <clears throat> You're gonna have that legend, by the way, which you probably kind of saw <laughs> at the top left of the canvas. And you'll find that same legend all the way over here at the bottom right. This is a big canvas, by the way, so just be prepared for that. There's that bottom part of the canvas there. Are all you sleuths having fun trying to figure out what is this image? <laughs> That's kind of what we try to do with these sneak peeks is to not make it super easy to tell what the image is, but for those of you that really want to find out, if you're willing to work for it, hopefully you'll be able to figure that out. <laughs> uh, here at the bottom, you're going to see a thumbnail, which of course is just going to be a question mark, so there's no spoilers. Um, Mystery Kit Animals, there's the name again, the size, and then copyright MGL slash Artbeat Studio. Uh, so just like all of their other diamond painting kits, this kit has been legally licensed by Diamond Art Club, so that means that um, the artist via this licensing studio um, has given permission for the use of their artwork and is being fairly compensated for the use of their artwork as well. So it's really important to me that companies are doing right by artists. And so I'm always gonna mention what companies like Diamond Art Club are. <laughs> Here's info about like their socials and yet another discount code. Uh, follow along on their socials for previews and announcements and stuff like that. Um, it's a really helpful spot to follow along. And then down here at the bottom right is info about their lifetime warranty. So if you have any trouble with your kit, if you run out of diamonds or have trouble with the glue or anything like that, contact Diamond Art Club's customer service and they will get you taken care of. Now we already kind of went on a little tour of the canvas and there's a good amount of confetti in this canvas. That means there's probably gonna be a lot of detail with whatever's going on. There's a couple of sections like this one where it's like, ooh, look, a nice big chunk of color blocking. Color blocking is when we have lots of the same color in a small area. Um, and so areas like this one are gonna go a little bit faster because you can multi-place if you like to multi-place and you'll have that color in your tray for longer. By contrast, areas with lots of confetti, it's, it's where you have lots of color changes in a small area, and those typically will go a bit slower just because um, you have that, you're changing out the tray, the color in your tray more often, and are um, single placing for the most part. So anyway, you guys, uh, let's take a look at some of these draw colors. So again, we have this nice big bag of diamonds. And we do have the name of the kit on the side. So if you store your diamonds separate from the canvas outside of the box they came in, it's easy to match them up later. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to pack these up nearly as neatly, <laughs> but I wanna show you these colors. I suppose in a way this is kind of a final spoiler warning that like, okay, now you're truly gonna see like every single color that's involved in this canvas in detail. So if you really don't want to see that, then click away. <laughs> anyway, there's that pretty color spread again. Let's take a look. So starting right off the bat, 
Got a bag of 310. Again, these are square drills. I think that they poke the hole in here to kind of help ideally with static. And then look, you guys, we have two bags of 141. This is our first AB diamond, which AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And if you see that amazing extra sparkle that's happening on the tops of these diamonds, uh, these have a special iridescent coating that makes them sparkle even more than regular diamonds do. Um, this one looks like they accidentally got the AB coating on the flat bottom of the drill instead of the top. Uh, but anyway, there is these have been placed uh it'll dry your eye to those areas it'll highlight them and um can really elevate a painting now normally on a non-mystery kit i will go through and i will show you where all the ab's are going to go i'm not going to do that today because that's going to be a little tricky and i don't know that it'll uh do you as much good because you don't actually have the full image in front of you but i'll at least show you all the colors so you know what to expect and those nice two big bags of white ab's I'm not going to complain about that <laughs> Got some grays, some kind of like a mustard brown yellow, lots of shades of kind of brown and gray. What could this image be? Something with animals. <laughs> and then a pretty blue. There's our first strand. We do have a straggler strand here that just has two colors in it, 995 and 453. Now, a couple of months ago, Diamond Art Club started phasing in another round of upgrades for their square drills. Uh, and I'm not gonna go through and try to point them out right now, but um, they are shifting from their original round of upgrades like a year ago. They shifted to having all of their square diamonds have 13 facets on the top instead of a mix of nine and 13 facets on the top. And now they're upgrading them further and all their diamonds are eventually going to have, all their square diamonds are eventually gonna have 26 facets on the top. I've seen them in some of their new releases lately and they look super sparkly and pointy almost, like they almost come to a point like a pyramid. So uh, they're really hard to photograph, but I will pop up a picture for you here in case you're curious to see an example of a color with these 26 facet drills but you kind of have to look closely. I think it's almost gonna have like that super, super sparkly effect that round drills have, but we're gonna get that effect with square drills. I haven't worked with a kit with those 26 facet drills yet, but I would like to soon so that I can see what it's like to work with them. Some pretty beiges and grays. How many ABs do we have in this kit? The legend tells me we're gonna have four, but I've only seen one so far. Okay, it heard me talking. Here's our second AB. Ooh, that kind of stuck together. Okay, I'll show you guys that in just a sec. But anyway, here is our second AB, 133. It's a really pretty, like, true orange AB. Okay. And then it looks like two packets kind of stuck together, but you can still make out the number. I'll show you the other one. It was in a different strand. A little bit sticky right there, too, actually. It's not like, it didn't hurt the drills. You can still see the colors. The bags are not open, but. Oh, here's our third AB, 138. That's a really nice blue AB. What do you guys think of the colors in this kit? Now, just a reminder, you guys, please no spoilers. If you figure out what the image is, please don't say as much in the comments. That one's kind of hard to read. 459, I think. 450 something. Okay. Probably could tell from process of elimination, maybe, but. Anyway, but yeah, no spoiling, no spoiling in the comments, please. Some people want to watch the sneak, but not necessarily have it all answered for them. <laughs> Pretty colors. Ooh, look at these pinks here at the end, including our fourth and final AB, which is 113. It's kind of a nice true pink, not too light, not too dark. I like that. We have some pretty pale pinks at the end and some greens and browns. All right, so you guys, there's our color spread. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? That's quite a variety of colors. I don't totally know if that's gonna really give away much as far as what, what this image is if you're trying to figure it out. But that's all I'm gonna share with you guys today um, because I'm not gonna show you the whole canvas. 
uh, at the moment, but I'm gonna go ahead and recap what you need to know about this kit and what we know about this kit. So first, it's a mystery kit, of course. The theme on this one is animals, and it's by Olga, who probably licensed this piece through Artbeat Studio or MGL, it looks like. And um, it's gonna have a total of 62 colors, 91 by 65 centimeters. So working on this kit is gonna be a bit of an undertaking. It's gonna be kind of a larger scale project. I do find that mystery kits take me just a little bit longer to complete because for whatever reason, the ones I've done have been a bit more confetti heavy. And um, just the process of working on one, it takes a little bit more mental power than a regular kit does, but I have to tell you, it's incredibly, incredibly rewarding. If you haven't had the chance to try working on a mystery kit before, I highly, highly recommend it because it's unlike anything uh, you've probably ever worked on before. And I think that Diamond Art Club does it in such a unique way. And, um, like it's truly a mystery, like the it's black and white. If you want to not even see like the black and white render printed on the canvas for yourself, you can do what I did for one of my mystery kits, which is where I actually had um, someone else get some like solid brown craft paper and taped it over the plastic covers so that I wouldn't accidentally like figure out what, what the image was by glancing at too much of the printing on the canvas. And that was so much fun and so incredibly rewarding. Um, and so if you haven't tried working on a mystery kit or if you, you know, if you haven't tried letting it actually be a full total mystery for yourself, I definitely recommend giving it a try sometime because it was so, so, so much fun. And like I mentioned earlier, watching the colors come to life on the black and white canvas is magical. It's so, 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 so cool. I'll link to those post reviews for the mystery kits I have completed below, which like I said, there will be spoilers, but you can hear me talk in a lot more detail about what the experience of working on a mystery kit is like and some further tips and tricks that I have and all the reasons that I highly recommend it. So for now, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Again, this mystery kit is going to be releasing tomorrow, which is Wednesday, December 21st at 9 a.m. Pacific or noon Eastern time. Um, as a reminder, all mystery kits are limited edition. So once they do sell out, they will not be restocked. So if this theme speaks to you, if you're like, yes, I totally wanna to work on an animal kit um, and you like the colors and everything that you saw, I definitely recommend setting your alarm and picking up this kit when it does release. So best of luck to you if you are shopping. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a lot of fun and that hopefully if you didn't want too much spoiled for you that we managed to avoid that. But if you wanted all the spoilers that you got just enough information to go do some detective work and figure out a little bit more about this piece. But you guys feel free to subscribe if you want to see lots more diamond painting content from me. I would love to have you here. Um, and if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up on the way out if you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it. So I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and a safe and healthy holiday season, and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.